morning, magandang umaga. <laughs> and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Uh, today is build day 41. Yes, build day 41 on the construction schedule of the swimming pool in the backyard here of Villa Feliz. Uh, we're gonna look and see what these guys can do today because we're going to go through a four hour brownout, a scheduled brownout. So they have a little bit of electricity to cut some towels this morning, but I don't know how much more they're going to get done. So anything that's involved with doing concrete mixing, maybe some tile work later on, maybe they can do that. We're at a little bit of a disadvantage today. So Ness and I are gonna take advantage and do a little bit of shopping this morning. Anyway, let's get today started. Now without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Well, while we still have some electricity, you can see Obing is over here. He is cutting the Aral stone, continuing on with the side of the swimming pool. And something that's super, super important is waterproofing. Remember, I said in earlier videos, the most critical place in a swimming pool that can possibly leak is any interface between planes, whether it be the plane along the bottom or a plane like we have here between the wall and a column structure like we have. So the guys are doing their best to make sure all of the potential places that we could have some vulnerabilities are taken care of and we have good waterproofing taken care of. Also, the last few pieces of tile on this wall that were vacant, I don't know if you saw the earlier videos, but there were about three or four sections of the 30 by 30 tile over here that were missing. They're putting those in place this morning. I don't know what the inventory is of our tile here, but there are several places that they can work on. One being here, but they really can't go too far because they still have to do the little lip, the little bullnose edge on this portion of our safety our safety wall right here going from the five inch into the five foot section of the swimming pool uh, oh we'll keep an eye on what's going on here today and uh, like i said we have to do a quick shopping run in town and then we'll come back and we'll follow up as soon as we get back from our trip all right we are back from our shopping trip in lipa and i got to tell you I remember months ago, I used to say something like, never go shopping in Lipa on a Saturday or a Sunday. Never go shopping on a Saturday or Sunday. And it has to do with the traffic. It has to do with the parking. It has to do with the crowds inside places like the malls and the supermarkets and SNR. Uh, well, today is Saturday. And since we have been in pretty much a kind of a lockdown since about March, we don't get out very often so i kind of forgot about my old rule about don't go out on the weekend now the the uh we went to snr and snr there was a two hour waiting line outside with the 1.5 meter separation for everybody uh for the social distancing and you, you have to wear the mask and you have to wear the face shield and uh that's really uncomfortable for two hours two hours to get inside a store just to pick up a turkey by the way, that's what we did because it's almost Thanksgiving. So we wanted to make sure that we have a turkey available in the house. And we got a turkey. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do is do a, a, a the end of day, even though it's, it's, it's after 4 o'clock right now. And I really didn't think the guys would be able to get much done uh, with a four-hour brownout. They had no electricity. They weren't able to use the grinder from the time we left. Uh, and Well, we just got back. So maybe they've had about an hour, hour and a half. About an hour and a half worth of use of the grinder so they're using it right now you can hear it in the background let me show you what they got done in the time that we were gone well i was kind of amazed uh, the the stone guy came back because he he picks up his stone from somewhere way up in the north and he picked up more stone uh, boulders and things like that for the waterfall and we're going to look at the waterfall in just a minute but before we focus on the waterfall i want you to see uh remember we were talking about earlier the the edge the bullnose uh, uh, for the coping prior to putting inside the the pebble rock well look what they did finished they finished look at there we'll jump we'll jump down inside and you'll see it a little bit better from the inside plus remember there was nothing here when i left there was nothing but some pvc pipes that was kind of stuck inside there for our electrical and stuff but now 
we have our little safety feature. And if you remember, if you have been a avid follower of this series, particularly the pool, the reason why we put this little protectionary measure so nobody inadvertently by accident would go from the five inch section right into the four foot pool right over here at fall over. You never know, maybe having too many um, beverages in the evening time. You wouldn't want that to happen. Uh, no set on that. But anyway, so they got this. It's all put into place, exactly like we were talking about. Now let's go down inside. We'll take a look from inside the swimming pool at the, some of the stonework. What can be done even when they didn't have electricity to do the grinding to cut? So, the, so oh, Bing over here, and you can see, and they had to challenge, it rained. Uh, we got a lot of rain while we were down in uh, Lipa Metro. And uh, so it's actually up to about this point, at least on this side right here. And I know it was a challenge. Uh, I know he was probably really unhappy he couldn't do the grinding and the cutting. So that's probably why the other parts got uh, so far ahead. All right, so the thing a lot of you guys want to look at. Okay, remember the stonework here. The stonework here looks the same. Nothing has changed here. Let's go on the top. I want to show you where we are going with our waterfall. Okay, well we have our f first couple of pieces in place uh, for the first, basically the bottom layer, the bottom layer of the waterfall where the water is actually gonna start falling off. And I, I guess the method is going to be, we'll work from the center and then work our way on the outside. He's gonna put a pool, a, uh, a pooling pool, I, I'm gonna call it a pool, so that the water goes in, fills up the pool so we don't have water spurting all over the place. And it'll drop down several layers and then we'll have buildups on the side. And what we'll do is make sure that we have this balanced weight proportionate so the the rocks on the back support the rocks that are on the front area so it will counterbalance them so we don't have too much weight on the front ledge right here. Most of the weight needs to be on the back side where you have the wall support and the column support for the, for the slab of the top of the life support system. All right, well, this is the end of today's build day. It was a short video, but we weren't here for over half the day. Uh, but trying to stay faithful to the, you see every single day what these guys do back here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and push a video for today as well. Uh, tomorrow, I will be here all day long, and we have a special, <laughs> we have a special guest coming tomorrow. Uh, I, we'll see if they wanna be on <laughs> our video for tomorrow, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna close from now. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> please share. <laughs> and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and notified the next time we upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day. Have a wonderful, blessed day and here in Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
if you enjoyed today's episode and you would like to see more just like these, just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects, how to, or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building, you'll find answers there as well.